So much drama in the MSP. Now, we generally like to stir the pot a little. Maybe we, we make mountains out of molehills, but coming from that background, we know, we absolutely know uh, when to call a spade a spade, and the national media jabroni haircuts are absolutely trying to create fake controversy out of Kwesi Dofa's Mensa's comments about quarterback Kirk Cousins, where there is none. There's absolutely n no controversy, no drama, and... It's disgusting, but it's also very unsurprising. So, first off, this all goes back to the USA Today article. Uh, you never want to go full Rams. How analytics help Vikings, Kwesi Dofamensa, embrace uncertainty. Now, uh, Jory Epstein, uh, who's really hanging out some controversy on this one. Now, these uh, quotes and comments were from May, right? But... Uh, held on to him till right before training camp, unleashing this, maybe knowing that the media, her media brethren would run with this the way that they did. Hmm. Now, the, now I, and it, we, already, we already covered this, and we talked about, we, we thought the most spicy part was him saying you never go full Rams, even though what he was saying is it's very risky to push all your chips in the middle, go all in, as opposed to uh, setting uh, your franchise up for sustainable success. We thought that was going to be the controversial part, and we actually, we basically glossed over the Kirk Cousins comments because we didn't find them controversial at all. So th this is what they said. Now, this is what they said black and white in the text. Uh, I'll be frank, Kwesi was saying. Uh, sitting down his office, blah, blah, blah. The one asset where you get nervous about not burning it down is quarterback. He aims to not take a shot at his quarterback, uh, quarterback or cousins, blah, blah, blah. Uh, saying that he has a good quarterback, but, quote, we don't have Tom Brady, end quote, uh, Adolfo Mensa acknowledges, and quote, we don't have Pat Mahomes, end quote, which requires him to ask, is the Vikings quarterback per perennially sufficient? Quote, the Super Bowl is more likely to win if you have that quarterback, end quote, Adolfo Mensa said, quote, it's very unlikely to have that quarterback, end quote. So now, uh, I kept putting the quotes in there. Uh, to demonstrate something because the choppier that a quote gets the the more interrupted it gets the less context there is and then the more margin there is for misinterpretation whether intentional or unintentional so chopping that up saying that oh yeah i mean he said he's a good quarterback but i uh, said we don't have tom brady we don't have patrick mahomes now when we read this the first time we, we read this as Quasi having a you know a macro view of how to build a, a football team because hey you don't burn it down at the quarterback position right and it, maybe some teams don't have a Tom Brady or a Mahomes or whatever but who does right you have the greatest quarterback of all time or you have a young quarterback uh, who is on a, a very affordable deal uh, now in in hindsight uh, who is on his way to being one of the greats uh, of uh, the, the game in NFL history not many teams have that. Everyone else just sort of has to work with what they got. Blah, 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 blah. And also, <clears throat> it's just... It's just massively frustrating, man, because you're seeing outlets and just run with this and then just sort of twist it the way that they want to. Anything to have a club to beat Kirk Cousins. So, of course, Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk. Uh, Vikings fan, very much a self-loathing Vikings fan, but, uh, I mean... Uh, who of us are not, right? Uh, Quasi Adolfo Mensa acknowledges the limitations of Kirk Cousins. How? How? By, by saying he's not Brady or, uh, Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes? He, Kirk Cousins would say that too. It's just so stupid. Uh, Bleach Report. A Viking GM Quasi Adolfo Mensa on Kirk Cousins. We don't have Tom Brady. No poop. No poop. Uh, again, Kirk Cousins would agree. And this one hurts the most. Pat McAfee, our boy. Pat! What the hell are you doing, man? You're a former player. You, of all people, should know the media twisting the comments to, to write their own narrative and how disgusting it is, man. Quasi Adolfo Mensa's comments about his quarterback, Kirk Cousins, are a bit alarming. Oh, really? They're alarming. Let, let's recap. Let, let, let's recap. Here's what Quasi said from, from the sparse quotes uh, that were chopped up uh, to uh, into mincemeat. Number one, don't burn down the quarterback position. That's right. Because, hey... <sighs> They could have got rid of Kirk Cousins. They could have traded his ass to Denver. They could have traded his ass to Cleveland this offseason, etc. They could have started over with Kelamon or rookie quarterback TBD. That would have been fine. I mean, a lot of new regimes come in, especially new head coach, new GM combo, and they get rid of the old quarterback. They draft their own quarterback or they sign a bridge quarterback and draft their own quarterback. That's right. And number two, the Vikings don't have Brady or Mahomes. Uh, again, w what has he said here that's untrue? Uh, is Kirk Cousins a good quarterback? Yes. Is he the greatest quarterback of all time like Tom Brady? No. Is he uh, young and on his way to being one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time like Patrick Mahomes? No. And again, Kirk Cousins would agree with that. 
he would. Number three, you're more likely to win a Super Bowl if you have that quarterback, a quarterback with it. Again, Kirk Cousins will probably agree uh, with him. Now, Kirk probably thinks that he has that or it or whatever. But what has Quasey said that is untrue? What has Quasey said here that is specifically a shot at Kirk Cousins? Nada. Nada, nada, nada. Because, again, actions speak louder than words, especially a misquoted or out of context words or just words that are twisted to fit a narrative. Because guess what? Hey, Quasi could just straight up come out and say, I think Kirk Cousins is Garbaggio. But then this entire offseason, uh, they did not trade Kirk Cousins. They could, they did not cut Kirk Cousins. Well, they couldn't have cut him because he had dead cap anyway. But they did not get rid of Kirk Cousins. They kept him. Plus, they extended him one year, $35 million, fully guaranteed. Also, no trade clause. So they are tethering themselves the first two years of their regime. And by the way, in the NFL, two years as a GM or a head coach, that might be all that you get. Right, so they're putting their career, both Quasey and new head coach Kevin O'Connell, they're putting it on the table with Kirk Cousins because, like Quasey said, you don't burn down the quarterback position and you need that quarterback to win a Super Bowl. Uh, can Kirk Cousins be that quarterback? I think that he can. And obviously, that uh, Kevin O'Connell, who's worked with Kirk Cousins before, and Quasey Adolfo Mensa, they obviously think so. So, uh, again, it's just mildly infuriating that they just chop up uh, and they just twist and just uh, intentionally misunderstand what Quasey said just to try and fit a narrative. Quasey's even come out and says, like, hey, I, I'm, I'm a real in what I say now because now, now he's seen it. Because now he's seen it as the general manager that, hey, we can be truthful I, I, because I, I think Quasey understands and respects that journalists have a job to do as well, but this may, may just sour him. Major Sauron. Plus, I, I like that it's not the local beat writers just really diving on in here. You know, the ones that see him every day and rely on access. I think that he'll still play ball with them. But, I mean, Rick Spielman, I mean, God, God love him. He was the master of uh, talking for a long time and saying absolutely nothing. Just talking in platitudes and latitudes and all that stuff. I, I think Quasey may have to go there, too. Because it's really unfortunate because... I love I love hearing Quasi talk about football. You, you love see hear, seeing and hearing an outsider's perspective uh, of this new age analytics and new way to build a team. Uh, but Quasi now may just go full GM speak. He may go full Rick speak. He's like, "Yep, yeah, we're just trying to build a good team, and uh, at the end of the day, we're just trying to win some games." Because maybe he's learned his lesson here. Because even though he was absolutely truthful, even though he was not denigrating Kirk Cousins at all, the media especially when it comes to Kirk Cousins, they will find anything. Anything you put out there becomes a rock that they can just throw at Kirk Cousins. It's ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. But uh, your thoughts on our thoughts. The media, national media, Jerome haircuts are creating a fake controversy between Quasi and Kirk Cousins. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But till next time, Skull, production value.